Episode 29, Kiki. That's right, babe. Doing good. We are doing good. We need to get one of those little board thingies where you make noises, you know? Uh, why? Because we just clapped and you could have just did I didn't, a... I didn't, well, we didn't clap for that. Oh, okay. You know, like we do like certain things like woo or something like that. Add that in. You started that. I know I did. Uh, Yep. So this is past... Uh, Actually, today was first day of school for our kids. Yes, Kenzie, once again, started ninth grade. All the ninth graders started today, gave them a tour. They got familiar with their classes. And so then tomorrow, everyone starts. And same thing for Bronson, six, he was a sixth grader. Um, they both had a good day, and it was crazy. Like, they both came up to me with smiles and said they loved their teachers. You know, Bronson told me that he didn't get lost, and Mackenzie said she met a few friends and she actually has a few um upperclassmen that are in her class oh really mm-hmm. yeah that's the difference between high school i was in a lot of underclassmen classes when i was in high school because i was just i would fail classes and i had to retake them yeah i wouldn't be proud about that i'm not proud but i had to do it at least i never failed classes well you know hey not everybody can be as smart as you kiki that's right not everybody can read as well as me and write I don't know about <laughs> writing. Your spelling. I know. It's terrible. But yeah, both kids had a good day. Uh, Kenzie had her first volleyball game today for volley- uh, for high school. And they won. Oh, wait. Well, I don't know if everybody knows, but so the last time we talked about, she had tryouts. Did we tell her we made it? I can't remember. Did we say we made it? Okay, we did. Okay, I couldn't yep. remember. Yeah, so we've been busy with that. She's been practicing early mornings from 545, and it rolls on to our first period till 8, and that rolls all the way through October. That's crazy. Yeah, games on Tuesday and Friday, so like our weeks are going to be consumed. Uh, but it was good. First high school games out of the way. They beat uh, Laporte. So go. Them Bulldogs. Go Falls. Yeah, go Falls. So, uh, yeah, it was good. It was it was fun. It was fun to see. Uh it's just crazy that they're she's growing up so much i mean i know it's crazy. so like this morning like she met up with a friend we went took her to starbucks or whatever so like like after drop off and stuff like i try i like tried not to cry because i wanted to cry so bad but i knew i had to come back home and bring bronson and i didn't want bronson to be like well, you know why are you upset you know so i go to drop bronson off and i think it just made me more calm because i know kenzie was anxious nervous she's not going to tell me back and just t- feel it you know yeah. and so bronson he was just like go with the flow he was pumped yeah, up. yeah and so i think it just made it made it go away so like i thought maybe later on it was going to kick into where i would be upset or cry you know but i know i was cooking eggs before I brought Bronson to school, my eyes were water just thinking about it, you know, because I was like, man, it's, I don't know why this seems like such a huge change because, like, you know, they're, we're done with elementary school, but ninth grade, that's a big change. Yeah. Because I felt like it will, when they go from elementary to middle school, watch this, all, like, Lily, our nephew, Charlie, like, when they went when they went to well, fifth, fifth to sixth grade, they changed, and then from sixth, after this year, Bronson's going to change so much, like look more like a, a teenager, not a little boy anymore, you know? Well, I mean, you know he's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they change so much from year to year. Like even last year, Kenzie, till the summer, you know? Yeah, I know. It's a, and for boys, it's different. They'll start getting testosterone. They start growing, <laughs> and it'll be, it'll be a big change. I mean, it's just. Yeah. Hopefully, but I don't think I get emotional until like it's Kenzie's like senior year. Like I don't get emotional for school stuff. Like, oh really? Well, like, I guess kindy- it, like kindergarten for both of them, yeah. But after that, you're like, oh, what, I, I know, mean, for dads, just, it's like yeah. Whatever. But so then you like like for Kenzie, like like yes, friends and stuff. And then this is like, you know, so much more than just middle school. You know, this is a huge, you know, seeing things, hearing things, you know, all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <sighs> yeah, but so I'm glad we got day one out the way. So day two tomorrow when everybody starts. So I'm going to ask that question tomorrow when, when I pick them up. So how did this day go? Because, you know, they were so excited. So it might change tomorrow, you know. Uh, Bronson's all excited. He got his computer for school. So oh, really? He was sitting on his laptop in his room like he's I, school. I know. And that's what I told him. I said, all right, when school stores, we got new rules. We can't be playing gameplay. And he said, I know. He said, I'm going to have to start studying. I know that now. There are certain times I'm going to have to study. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. So it was good first day. Uh, it's crazy that the summer flew by. It did fly by. And waking up early is not for me, so this is not 
you know. It was hard this morning to wake up that early. I mean, I'll be the one bringing her to school at 545 uh, yeah, That's in the right. You will be. You know, I thought about something crazy since tomorrow's. If like, So let me tell everybody. So every year when all the kids go back to school, moms we, get drunk. We, do, we do a mom's celebration where the kids go back to school. And I lost my train of thought. What was I going to say? Shoot. They're doing a party tomorrow. Right? I know we're doing a party tomorrow. But it was tiny. What were you talking about a while ago? Don't you don't remember? Oh, man, maybe I'll remember it. Dang it. That was the whole point of reason why I was saying it. You're talking about school, Bronson. Ah. Every year y'all do this? I know, every year we do this. But anyways, yes, yeah, so every year we do this. We celebrate. We have a good time. But I, would, I can't remember. Just let's keep going. I don't know what we were talking about. It Something chimed in to where I had to say that part first. Damn it, Kiki. Gosh. Can you... F- well, can you rewind it? <laughs> uh, yeah, so apparently the moms go hang out and drink. We have a little fun. Act like they had such a rough summer. <laughs> hey, putting up them kids and running them back and forth everywhere, that's a lot, you know? Yeah. When they can just stay and just play. Or not ride like Bronson. Sometimes he doesn't want to ride a bike. He's like, go drop me off at my friend's house. I'm like, How? like that's what your bike's for. You know, like the night before school, I was trying to get everything done, like doing their school supplies and stuff, which they should be doing. But me, I'm so like OCD about where everything goes. So I, I took over and I did it. But Kenzie, he was like, Crystal packs their backpack for them and does all this stuff like they're little babies. But yes, and then I, st- I mean, I, and I still make their lunches. I mean, you only think you only got four years left, you know? I mean, for Kenzie. Oh, yeah, for Kenzie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, a lot of changes, but it's all good. It's part of life. They're gonna keep growing. I wish I could remember what I wanted to say. It's terrible. I mean, they're gonna be drinking. That's all it is. No, that's not. It was tying into something else. It was uh, like some, yeah, something really important to say. Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, let me back it up. But now I can't uh, remember. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll come back to you. Uh, yeah, real quick, we talked about it. we we did something fun over the weekend. We actually had the uh, Texans training camp game. It was a lot of fun. So, so me, Crystal, Kenzie, Bronson went. Uh, Adam took uh, the Quints. Mm-hmm. Danielle Blake couldn't be there. Uh, so our friends Ernie and Luke came with us. But it was cool. We do a lot with the Texans, which is fun. And then, uh, you know, we have – they give us, like, VIP access, which is cool. We got to go on the field, watch them, watch them practice. And then after they got done – we got a lot of the players that came by and uh, autographs, signed stuff. So it was cool. We we got a few players Bronson wanted to meet, and probably one of the coolest things Andre Johnson, who's the new Hall of Famer, uh, mm-hmm. he came by, talked to the kids for a second, signed everything. So that was really cool. We didn't get to get C.J. Stroud or Tank, but oh, I know Bronson wanted those two so bad. But yeah, it was a uh, it's cool, man. The, the access we get with them guys and uh, Shakira that takes care of us is. And she takes good care of it's us. It's been fun the last few years. We hung out with uh it's funny because it's us and then another group of like rappers, Maxo Cream, Big X the plug and a bunch of them guys. Some that new that guy Stunna Stunna for Vegas. Yeah. And then his wife, she's a singer to a rapper. Yeah. And so uh and then we met Jordan Childs. Uh yeah, which y'all, we met Jordan Childs. Fresh from the Olympics she's uh, so tiny. gymnastics. Yeah, she was she took a picture with Kenzie. She's probably four eleven, know, four ten. Was, yeah, she was super little. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I mean, literally, she probably just got back a day or two before in Paris, and she's at the Texans game. So, get to meet her, which was cool. Uh, one thing she did tell us was we got the uh, last year I played in the flag football game. Oh my god, that was so fun! So I got to play in that, which was super fun. And uh, we even asked. People even asked Del if he was like an ex football player or they something. They look at me, bro. Because this the way how he's, you know, they would ask him, like, he ain't nobody. They just, who, who caught well, the winning touchdown? Well, from out daughter, but. Who won the, who caught the winning touchdown? You did. Exactly. Yeah. And I dove. You did. So, uh, but Shakira, we we're talking about that. This year they're going to do it different. I'm waiting to get more information, but she kind of told us what, uh, we're actually this year we're going to play at halftime of an actual Texans game. I know, that's going to be crazy. It's so, like, can I get in on that too? No, dude, no girls. Remember no girls last allowed. year they asked, like, I mean, I can, I can play. It's, it's, it's. You're not girl, my team. It's girls and boys. You need to ask if if Kiki can do it too. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to be on your team because if you lose the game for us, we're not going to lose the game. 
If you lose the game. What? Another, may, we're making another bet? No, you may not be invited ever again. <laughs> okay, all right. Because the coach I played for, that was they won like, I was thinking it was like three years in a row they won, so. Okay, it was all because of you. Well, I caught the winning touchdown, so. Hey, I saw it. I, that's, I videoed that's it. That's kind of what that means. Okay. It's all on me. Actually, Mo, Mo, Amer, uh, Mo Amer, the comedian, threw a dot to me. I just landed in your hands. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so that's fun. So I'm excited about that. That'd be cool to see. I mean, we'd be playing at, if, we, if this goes like we talked about, we'd be playing halftime with, uh, you know, 70,000 fans in there. And that'd be cool. On the field. Yeah. And then maybe some coach will see me then. Maybe I will start playing. Not at your age. Oh, dude, I can't. People are retiring at your age. No, football players retire way earlier than that. Way unless earlier than 41? Yes. I really? Tom Brady's only got to play that, that late. Oh, okay. Uh, quarterbacks, but – or kickers. So I can maybe be a kicker. But, uh, yeah, so that was fun. Uh, quick update on the, the mile challenge that's coming up. we got to – me and, me and Magnus been talking about that. Oh, yeah. Dale couldn't wait to get home and tell me what he so, got today. I bought some new running shoes. I talked to the guy at the Nike store. These are guaranteed to make me win. If they don't, I said I'm returning them. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be – dude, you're going to be crying. Amp it up, boy. You're going to be crying. I need you to start practicing running so your feet are hurt. So we got a, we got a, we got a plan, too. We got, a, we, got a, we got our official – Host commentary going to be there for us, Coach Brady from uh from CrossFit Kima. What? Yeah. So Brady's gonna <laughs> Brady's gonna he's actually gonna be we're me and him we're going through some training. He's gonna video me. Me and we're gonna do some. No, uh, that's going a little bit too far. You're not. It's not a damn movie. Me and no, it's, be, it's gonna be a movie. You can't be shining and let me just. It's gonna sit be in the background. They're gonna make it a thirty for thirty on this race. Okay. Mag's shooting it. We're gonna sell it to ESPN. All right. So no, Brady commented on it, and I was like, "Oh, this is perfect." So well, it works out good because he can tell us the rules. He can be there. What's the rules on your market? Nope. Set, go. Nope. Let's, we got other rules. Don't worry about it. And so it's just rigged up for me to win. But Brady's gonna train me. We're gonna do some video for that. Have a little training montage. Oh my god. And then he's gonna be there that day to like to kick it off. Okay. And then he's going to be with Magnus, obviously, on camera doing like the commentary for when we're running. So he can kind of tell people what's going on, okay. where I'm at in my head versus what our training has been doing. Okay. All right. Can't wait. He's going he's gonna to say, hey, this is where Dale turns on the gas and really leaves her. So he knows what I'm going to do. Like, it's all part of training, dude. Do you know when to step on the gas? Yes. When? The last hundred. Oh, before that, you start picking up that last round. No, we got a new plan. That last round, start picking up a little bit more. Then that last 200, baby, take off. You do what you do. I am going to do what I do. I'm going to freaking smoke you. All right. Just be ready, because Keith gave me some ideas for a tattoo for you already. Oh, my gosh. So I think what we do is we'll, when we get – so when we have a winner or loser, we'll uh, we'll have a couple ideas, I think, for each for each for for the tattoos. And we'll do like a poll, poll maybe. <laughs> no, like this is going a little bit too far because no. I, have, I have to like this on my body. It can't be something we, like a like a, a lettuce wrap or something. Oh, that's a good idea, right there. <laughs> lettuce wrap. I like that <laughs> with a turd in it. It says yeah, it I'm a loser. It says on your body, and it, it can't be seen. Then you better win. Okay. So, yeah, right. Let us wrap down. So, uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna have this. Maybe we can do a, some kind of poll. So once we have like a couple ideas. I mean, you're talking all this shit, you know. Like I'm not. I'm keeping quiet. I'm not really saying that much, you know. Dude, you're scared. No, I ain't scared. scared. We're naming this episode Kiki Scared. Write that down. I ain't scared. Kiki Scared. And she loves lettuce wraps. Why do you say lettuce wrap? I don't know because I was just trying to think of something like that's, that's gonna awkward. Be, that's going to be on you. That's on. That's that's a top. That's all in the poll right now. What? Mag just put a poll up. That's okay, number one right he, now. Then and we can get each other's, both of our faces in the tortilla wrap. Okay. Like <laughs> that's a wrap. It's done. We got the tattoo. Uh, I don't know why that came in mind. I guess because we've been eating those low carb wraps. <laughs> Yep. So uh, that's okay. So yeah, Magnus, we're gonna once we get it. Once we have a loser, we'll put. So we'll make the video of the race itself, 
and then we'll do a follow up with the tattoo. We'll do a follow up like kind of how I did my Dale to Dale. We'll do a follow up video uh, of the tattoo experience. We'll get Casey to do it. He's already knows what to do. The guy's a pro, and it, whatever it is, it's gonna be a good tattoo. So yeah, and it's, it doesn't have to be something big. It can just no. be like simple. Y- We're gonna have another poll for size. <laughs> no, I ain't doing that. It's my body. It'll be like, dude, you already feel like you're losing. What you already wor- you already worry about you losing this race. It ain't gonna be rigged either. Uh, Brady's making the rules. I can't. I ain't listening to Brady. He don't coach me. Well, he <laughs> Brady heard is a, that Brady is a CrossFit Games athlete. All right, we'll see if he can train you a little right. Yeah, Brady's one of our coaches. Uh, so him, I think her name's Alyssa. I don't know her. And then Travis, who's a previous Games uh, athlete years ago, and Cody from our CrossFit chemo. There's some. Uh, they actually made the CrossFit Games that just happened this past weekend. I think they got 21st. I don't, yeah. Which is a uh, which is cool. I mean, out of like I think forty teams total, so they are they are the fittest people in the world. Twenty first, twenty first. Yeah, it it's is pretty world. awesome. Yeah, so it's big for them. Uh, it's cool for our gym. Had some people there from our gym that went to see it. it. Was in Dallas. I wish we could have went. Yeah, they had a good crowd. So, uh, but yeah, so Brady's going to be that. He's going to be doing commentary, and um, don't worry about my training. Okay. I ain't worried about it. I'm worried about myself. I'll probably post it. I'll have my shoes. I'll get my shoes tomorrow, so I'll post a picture of my shoes so people see how fast they are. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to see these things. I'll probably put them on and run a little bit for you. Magnus, to break them like, in? Like a kid. Look like when I get my first pair of shoes. Mm, okay. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I might have to check out my Brooks, see if they still work. Oh, no. They do. Trust me. Brooks is a good pair of shoes. Yep. So... I'm excited about this. We got to do this soon because I want to get this out there. Yeah, we probably need to do it around like at night, like around seven fifteen or something. You know, even the time probably look better shot too. We just need to have enough light for him, uh, but we'll we'll plan that soon. Uh, Maybe yeah, that's right. You'd be ready. I am ready. We're just gonna call you one day, like, hey, meet us here. Just, just go time in the afternoon. I'm gonna know when we're doing it. <laughs> Maybe not. No, that's this is, this, is not set, this is not set up for you to we're win. Not, I, we're not play, we're not making all setting all these rules and everything. We're gonna know a day in advance or whenever we're gonna set a date and time, and then we we're gonna have to other, show up. Other people want to be there to watch this. Who? People. <laughs> we're gonna have to sell tickets. We gotta raise money. <laughs> okay. To pay for your shoes that you bought. We'll just pay for everything. We're gonna do all kind of stuff with this. Yeah, we're gonna have a we'll have a fundraiser. Okay. We'll have somebody donate. Per dollar for every mile, every mile per hour I run. Okay. We'll have to get somebody to clock us. Then we'll oh, do it. That's a, easy. The time thing. Then we'll do a sprint race. And we're off, not, no, we're not course. doing a sprint race. We're, you're going no, too you're far. We're now. doing just a one mile <laughs> run. Like I'll sprint for a mile. What? Yeah. You couldn't get. You couldn't beat Aaron. In a what? Any race. Aaron smoked you I that mean, time. That's a hundred meters. You don't start gearing up till past that, really. How many meters of the mile? Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. Yeah, I've been training thirty-two hundred, so sixteen hundred should be nothing. Okay. Yeah. So this is gonna be good. Can't wait. You excited? Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I'm just keeping it all inside. Okay. And tell you results after. We're gonna tell people from the gym and friends they've only come watch us. They need to come. We need to have a little cheering section. Everybody be on my side, like our, like, a, like at a wedding. They're all Dale's team. Then I can have a coach running besides me. Besides? Beside me. No. They ain't getting coaching in our. Me. They're not getting in our shot. Just coaching me through. No, nope. you can like wear. When I was in high school, we had a coach come down and train us. And like he ran, like he didn't run in your races. I know, but at the time though, you know, you're young. You just do what they say, you know. And you, it's crazy. Well, if you hear me say slow down because I'm out of breath, just slow down. Okay. Then I'm gonna run past you. It's a trick. All right. Yeah, I've, I've had a few people that I know that that's commented or seen it. They're like, I want to be there. So it's funny. We're having a whole event. Have orange slices afterwards. I start getting my outfit ready. I have a victory cake because all this training I'm gonna do, and I need to have some, put I need to put some calories back in me because I'm gonna be in a deficit after a mile. Yeah. 
Okay. Up 200 pounds, that's a lot of exertion. <laughs> you nervous now? I ain't nervous. You be, or you be nervous if people are there? Well, yeah, for something. Like, it's just a silly bet, you know? And you're going to have a this crowd got, full of people? Yeah. Okay, we better have some music blaring, too. We're going to fill the stands. Fill and the and stands. you got to sing the national anthem before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deal? I'm not singing the national anthem in front you, of my CrossFit friends. You wanted to do it, so this is the perfect place. I don't even know all the words to that song. <laughs> we'll have a coach with you. We'll get you a singing coach. Yeah, then the coach will give me the wrong lyrics. No, no. We'll, be, we'll make this legit. Then I can practice it here and it. We'll have Trey from the Fay come the, sing a duet with you. I could turn the mics on. We'll have Trey from the Fay there. He'll play the after party. Okay. You're thinking big, dude. Dude, why not? Well, we this start, is our podcast. We might, we might as well start charging people to come see us since they can help pay for our cake. And That's what I said. Even if it's $2. It's $2. <laughs> a dollar a person. And then you get a lettuce wrap at the end. <laughs> with me and you in it wrapped up because we love each other. That's it. <laughs> I don't know if I want my face on my body though. I got my face, on my body. I know it's so funny. You gotta be committed to the game. You know what we do? We could probably just have Vito draw us up a tattoo that we both kind of collab hey, on, and the loser gets that. Who drew that up? This is Vito. Oh, Vito drew, made this. Oh, Vito did the this, faces. This is our logo. Yes. He okay. Made I that. didn't know. I didn't know if the tattoo orders drew it up. Why would he draw up all our stuff been like that before, though? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, maybe she, the loser should get a happily ever banner tattoo. No, I do not want something big on my leg like that. Uh, you ain't got to go on your leg. You can get it wherever, but I'm saying. Where would it go? Tramp stamp. Either I get a tramp stamp, too. No, I'm so glad I don't have a tramp stamp because I see all these girls that have them. <laughs> sorry, gonna... lady. sorry if you have tramp stamps out there. Kiki's going to hate on you for a minute. Go ahead. Just, I mean, the ones they get, I'm like, they're terrible because it's like, they're like, oh, it's my, I guess when you first get your tattoo, I guess it's where you get it. And a few Well, that was popular in like the know, 2000s because Britney Spears had it. I know. Oh, because a few of my friends that have it, I'm like, geez, what tattoo artist did you go to? You know, I know back in the day, they're probably not as good as what they are now. I don't know. You know? Well, I mean, they got it when they were like 17, 18 years old, 19. Yeah, and they probably didn't care. It was probably just like, give me a, I forgot, somebody has a weird tattoo. Is it a horse? Or something. Oh, Magnus has got that. He got a horse. Half, half horse, half Magnus. Yeah. No, maybe maybe we could do that. It don't have to be Happily Ever Banner. It could be something of Happily Ever Banner that he draws up as a tattoo. Oh, so now it's changing. Well, I mean, that can be one of the the poles. Oh, okay, yeah. Let us wrap. Happily Ever Banner. But the, the cool thing about it is, regardless who wins or loses... It's going to have a good story with it. That's the best thing about any tattoo. <laughs> yeah, then we get up in age and we're going to forget the story. <laughs> or just say, I lost a bet or you lost a bet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Dude, that'd be awesome. Okay. That's a good idea, Magnus. <laughs> Dude, the, you know how many people talk about this tattoo? Because it's funny. Yeah. I got I another like man's it. face on my, my leg. I know. It's crazy. I wouldn't change it. I gotta add Magnus to it though. I'm gonna draw a little picture of Magnus on a chair. <laughs> him hanging. <laughs> oh, he on the chair. No, I'm gonna get a picture. I'm gonna get Magnus' face and just I think put it somewhere. <laughs> I can't leave Magnus out, dude. He's a big part of this. We are gonna get your haircut, dude. I, I'm done. I'm done with this. I, I found the place we're gonna go. All right, let's go. Okay. He's desperate for a haircut. <laughs> Magnus. Uh, Usually, people, the kids are like, some homeless guy's here. I'm like, that's no, Magnus. And then he comes in, steals my energy drinks and whatever else I can give him. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get him hooked up. But, yeah, so I think this is good. I think we I think we should turn this into more of a, an event. It'll be fun. It'll be something just funny. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's Everything we do is satire. I mean, it's nothing. Yeah. We're not going to get all these people together. We're going to get just like no. our neighborhood friends. And it's, few, it's, you know. it's open to the public. Open to the public, yeah. We'll put on Facebook, we'll put on Instagram. Any fans want to come down? Well, we're going to be charging a dollar then per We're going to have Magnus meet and greet. Okay. He's like a kissing booth. Kissing booth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more clear with Chelsea. She's good. I think she's going to be a little upset. It's a show. <laughs> it's nothing but dudes. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> uh, yeah, so 
All right. Well, people are going to hear this Thursday. The word's going to get out. People are going to start. This is like a Wayne stock on Wayne's World. It's going to turn into a big deal. All right. I'm glad you're amping this up. I am going to talk to Trey, see if he'll come just do a national anthem. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Tell him to do it like Stapleton did for the, uh, for the Super Bowl a couple do, years ago. do acoustics? Yeah. Okay. Dude, this could be badass, man. Like, I got I got people I know that do, uh, like, flamethrowing. That's getting out of hand. We'll get a few little people running around. I'll call Shorty Shane in. I don't know who that is. I need, you know what? Fit the Surf said he wanted to come in town to do a podcast. Maybe you should plan it till he come in. And he can run with us. He can be our coach. He's looking good, too. Dude, he's looking real good. Yeah, he's he's in good shape. He's been doing that stuff with Baluk, so. Oh, awesome. He's cut down. Looking sexy as ever. Uh, yeah, I think we got to make this more fun. Okay. I think with people involved. You just keep adding to it. We're going to forget all these details. No, so. Magnus is writing this down. He's he taking minutes. He ain't taking minutes. This is recorded. We can listen back. Oh, okay, that's right. <laughs> We're good. We're going to make a whole reel about this. <laughs> I'm going to the laundry list. Okay, we got Trey from the Fade, National Anthem. I'm going to hit Fit to Serve Up. That'd be cool. Have where some influences there. Where is he from? I think he... He may be living in Nashville. Now. I don't know where he's from. Uh, Arkansas. Oh, he can't get over here that quickly. So, he oh, he can't. He told me he would fly in because okay. he went to the podcast with us anyway. Huh. Yeah, he does have a welcome to Galveston tat- welcome to Galveston baby tattoo on his leg. From what? He got it when they were drunk one night when he uh, was in the so silly Marines bit. or Army. I've, Army. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd be fun to have him in person. I don't know. We need. Uh, I'll at least. I'm at least throw it out there. And see if he can make it. Yeah. The dude's always all over the place. I mean, he's a full-time influencer, so. Okay. We'll see if we can get uh, some businesses to sponsor it. You never know. Sister's businesses, that's easy. I'm thinking big. Okay. Think, keep thinking big. It's just going to be something small where it's just us two running. No, 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 no. Filming, and we got Brady. If coaching. I'm on this, I'm going to make sure okay. we're getting people. It's your job to get it all and just sit back and win. Actually, you know what? What? Hold on. What are you doing? You calling somebody? You calling? See if you're gonna catch him. He might not answer if you said he's a full time. Yo. Yeah. What's up? I got a question for you. What's up? So me and Kiki are gonna be running a mile race soon. A loser's got to get a tattoo of the other person's choice. Okay. And we're gonna have this. We're gonna have this plan as like an event soon. And I was wondering if you would, uh, if you would come sing a national anthem acoustic for us. Of course. All right. I'm telling, I'm making this big. Crystal's all nervous now because she thinks she's going to lose. But I was like, did we get Trey to sing national anthem? Have some people there. We're going to make this a, a whole YouTube deal. Absolutely, dude. What is it? Uh, I'll get back to you on that. I just want to. We're actually recording the podcast right now. It's for it comes out Thursday. It's like I was, mm-hmm. I'm gonna call you right now while you're while I'm on here. Okay, cool, dude. All right, I'll hit you up. All right. Later, brother. No straight for their face. He's in. All right. It's in, dude. We're that's perfect. We're golden. Okay, I like it. All right. So this is a uh, yeah. Magnus put that down. I need to think of other people we can get here. We'll get the family there. We'll get the quince there. We'll make them choose who's going to win before. Absolutely not. And whoever chooses the loser of the quince, they got to get tattoos also. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you better pick right. It's getting a little bit out of hand, <laughs> like ridiculously out of hand. I know you're trying to be full of jokes, but uh, we'll get them press on tattoos. Even better. I'll get them a, a picture of my face. You get nervous. I'm not getting nervous. Magnus, yeah, he's. I told you, I'm not saying anything, and I'm gonna tell you my results after and how I feel. Don't be throwing up. I'm not throwing up. Well, if I I might throw up because if you if you do if you work out right if you do it right if you get to that throwing up point that's all awesome. that means you work beyond your you exerted yourself yes and you pushed very hard. Okay, I must give it a Vita to make us a flyer for this. Okay, me and Magnus will take a day off. We'll just go put them all over town. 
Race of the Century. We need to think of a name for it. Ask ChatGPT. Yeah, cheater. No, dude, you got to use AI. So this is it. This is this is going to be. This is going to be a, a deal. Right. So okay. I know we, we didn't have much. Of, we didn't have any plan coming in tonight, but I'm glad we talked about this because this is a good one. So especially on the height of it, we've had a lot of fans comment on that that last reel. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are saying, go Kiki. Yep, that's right. They're like, Dale, you, where you, you, woo! where's your tattoo going to be? Because Chris is going to win. And they, just, they don't know my capabilities. Okay, all right. So, it's going to be a good event. We need a, we're need we going to think of a name. Okay. I'm going to get a Vito to make the deal. We'll put on their special guest, straight from the face, singing national anthem. That'll get some people here. Hold on, Bronson's texting me. He just said, oh, you're going to be mom, as we said. Your what? He oh. just said you should. Oh, okay, you're gonna, yeah. No, yes, for a drink. Okay. Um, yeah. So, all right. This is. I'm ready. This is coming together nicely. I like it. I like the ideas. I like your brainstorming. Whatever you do, that what, shit. You, you got to get creative. I've been. You know, one thing I have done since I've started the other podcast is uh, the creative juices flow. Okay. Well, let's put them creative juices together. Mm-mm, I'm doing it all. Okay. This is my event to win, my event to plan. All right. And then, uh, yeah, I'll hit Casey up just to give him a heads up on what's going on. Maybe we'll have him there. He'll tattoo you right there on the spot. No. Mm, it's, not, it's not clean like that. It needs to be sanitized. It's okay. Dale, come on now. It's needles. Okay. Inked in the blink of a mile. <laughs> Inked in the blink of a mile. Oh, that's that's, that's one of, that's one of his titles. Hey, we need to come up with a couple of them, and we'll have a we'll have a poll for that. Get people to vote on it. The more interaction we can get, and engagement, that's going to help. The run and regret mile. The run the and run regret, and regret mile. mile. Yeah. What was the first one? Inked in the blink of a mile. Inked in the blink of the mile. I like that one. That's kind of cool. Yeah, because it goes along because we're going to get inked. One of us is going to get inked after. Yep. It's pretty cool. It's clever. I like that one. Yep. This is good. What else you want to talk about? What's going on with you? That I mean, we talked about us getting ready, kids starting school, getting back into finally a routine, you know? Yeah, routine to be good to get back into. we got to get back on our, uh, like I said, we got to get on planning our meals. Yep, just because... Once you get on a routine, it's so much easier for the school year, you know, and then trying to figure out the sport, you know. Yeah. We need to, uh, we're still looking for sponsors for the podcast, aren't we? Yeah, so you know anybody, come out and sponsor, I mean, come out and no, sponsor. No, for the podcast. Yeah, I know, come be our sponsor for the podcast, guys. We were gooders. Yeah, I need to talk to Meta. They were awesome. Meta, again, I need yes, to talk to Meta, her. I know we talked, love, yeah, and I love their seltzers. Yeah, I need to hit, uh. I need to hit her up. We need to get that going just so we can have a full blown sponsor. Yes. Maybe they can sponsor the they can we can get some cases of those. Okay. Every two hundred meters you gotta chug one. Oh no, we ain't going that oh. <laughs> Then I we would be wasted by the Dude, the wasted lap. the wasted mile. No. Mm-mm. That would be terrible. You ever see that challenge magnet where they had they drink a gallon of milk and have to run a mile? Oh god. And they just throw up everywhere. I couldn't drink a Glass of milk because I hate milk. So I I'll, can drink a glass of milk if I eat something chocolatey or whatever. But yeah, every yeah, I'm not a milk person. I'm an orange juice person. I like yeah. orange juice. Okay, good. everybody knows that now. What? Maybe we get you an orange juice tattoo. It's, yeah. The juice is loose. The juice is loose. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, he got a few. Uh, Few creative ideas. Okay. Inked in the blink of a mile. I like that one. The race to the needle. Ooh, I kinda like that too. Oh, the race to the needle. Oh yeah. Uh I like that one. Uh the Ink Mile Showdown. Tattoo Dash Duel. Run Regret Mile. Inked Finish Line. The Regretathon. That's kinda cool. The Mile of Shame. I like the ones that are done with ink in the it. The Mile of Shame is pretty funny. I like yeah. Uh, the Tat O'Clock Challenge, Race to the Trace, the Mile High Ink Club. Oh, that sounds kind of dirty. Run, ink, or cry. 
that's fun dude i think the best thing is gonna be especially the follow video of the tattoo i think be that'll funny. be yeah either way i mean you know i'm not worried about getting any tattoo so i think even something outlandish for me i'm i'm game <laughs> it has to be the same that one that those drops all have to be the same for either one of us no not necessarily yes why whatever i do i'm doing my other leg to balance this one out no no i'm just saying the design and drawing like you know we'll work on that we'll we'll talk to production after this okay magnus is had magnus is gonna weigh in on this so. <laughs> he may have the final vote so okay does she look nervous i'm not nervous scared. she looks scared do i look scared Am I Why's your face of, red? Am I scared of you? Because it's a little warm in here. Oh, here we go. Blame it on my AC. Yep. That's right. It's hot up in here because it's hot outside. So it's hard to cool upstairs off. You know what I mean? Yep. So uh, we're good. Okay. The table, got everything. the table has been set. It hasn't been set. You're just talking about, you're brainstorming about ideas, so nothing has no, been set. No, I'm going to write this out tonight. Because there's no t d time or date. I'm going to have that set. I'm going to see what works for, for him. i got to get some training in. Me and Mag, maybe we can do that tomorrow afternoon. You just sit back and keep it all into yourself. I'm going to be out there training like Rocky. Okay, I can I can do it. I'm going to have a whole video montage of my training. Go you, and I'll just be soaking it in by myself. Eating a raisin cane like she did tonight for dinner. Whose fault is that? Kids. And I even said that. No. I'm bulking right now, then I'll cut <laughs> for the race two days prior. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh all you want. All right. Well, That'll conclude episode 29. Unless you got anything else. No. I, mm -mm. You think about what you had to say earlier? No, I wish I did. I'm going to have to go back Dang it. and save it for next week. Because <laughs> I don't remember. It was tying in. I don't know what. It was tying into the bombs day to something else. I, I won't remember. And, and, uh, next week, I'll go back and watch this. Well, Thursday when it comes out, I'll listen to it. And then I'll remember maybe say it next week. Might be thinking of how we can make this real for this uh Maybe chop it up like, hey, we're going to do this, 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 and this. And then we'll get that going. I'm ready. Did you see the questions I sent you? Then we should have a... Hold on. I sent it to just you. What? There's a couple of trivia questions I want to see you. Oh, Magnus wanted me to ask some trivia questions. You're on y'all's damn trivia questions. What is always coming but never arrives? What's always coming and never arrives. And never arrives. Is it like that wind? That you answer. What? Whatever your answer is. I don't know. It's probably something simple. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? What word? It's probably a word that's like the I before the E. One of those words. Cause you <laughs> oh, is it like these silly real riddles? Kind of. Yeah, I have no idea. I got all these it's right probably, one, man. It's probably something silly. What is it? So listen to the question carefully. What word is spelled incorrectly in every single dictionary? Incorrectly. Dude, good job. See, I had to think in my mind, close my eyes, think about it. Is that right? Yep. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> I see it now. I'm catching on. Good job. Uh, oh, here's funny. The last one. If a plane crashes on the border of the United States and Canada, where do they bury the survivors? Okay, read it again. If a plane crashes on the border between the United States and Canada, where do they bury the survivors? Read it again. If a plane crashes on the border between the United States and Canada, where do they bury the survivors? <laughs> I'm trying to think about this. There's no there's no survivors. 
So where do they bury the survivors? I mean, not in the ground because they're up in the air. What do you mean? If a re, you, read the question again, you said if a plane crashes on the border of the United States border, and Canada, on the border of the United States and Canada, they fall through <laughs> where, United States of America and Canada. Yeah, they fall. where do they? Where do you bury the survivors? I have no idea. You can't. I mean, they're not going down the ground because they're up in the air. <laughs> we don't bury survivors; they're alive. Oh, okay. Get it? Oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> they stay up in the air. <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was something still like they don't go to it the is. ground. <laughs> <laughs> Read it again so I can comprehend it again. <laughs> if, if a plane crashes on the border between the United States and Canada, where do they bury the survivors? Oh, yeah, that's something silly because you're not dead, you're surviving, you're alive. <laughs> yeah. That's so th- it's so funny how those little things can get you. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Now he's just like yeah, I, thought, I thought. I thought he was saying revolve. He like, ain't trying to help you. It's his no, question. I know. I thought it's what you said. I'm like that does not make sense. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Well, that's a wrap of episode 29. Thank you all for tuning in. Yes. Thanks for listening and joining us. If y'all have any ideas for a race name, comment on the YouTube. Comment on. Uh, or send us a private message on our Happily Ever Banner podcast uh, Instagram and we will put those into consideration I'm ready get creative if you have tattoo ideas let us know put them in the, put them in the comments of the YouTube or draw us up a little something yeah hey you get points for drawing it up <laughs> cause then if you're the artwork winner you I mean hey we'll figure out how to get you involved yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can send them yeah. a T-shirt. T-shirt. Like we'll get, we get you a T-shirt and a Happy Air Banner coffee Yeah, mug. those of you that don't, we got to remind these people. If you go up to our website, what's our website? HappyAirBanner.com. Yes, we have merch, guys. We got T-shirts. We have coffee mugs. We hats. got hats. So go support us and get you something. Yeah, get some gear. Tag get us online. Get some gear. Tag us online. Share a picture. We'll share it on our story. Like We love seeing people. And s- sometimes people forget that we have gear, but y'all, we have merch. Yep. It's hard to sell merch. Yeah. I know. Next time I'm aware, I'm going to wear mine next week. Max has got his Happy Band yeah, Podcast got, shirt on. That's right. You can say he's repping the, the brand. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the love. So, uh, well, that's a wrap. Okay. We, will, uh, we will catch y'all next week. And um, hopefully we'll have this race done within the next week, week and a half. And we'll get some of these names out there and uh, have it all put together. Okay. If there's any fans in the area that want to come once we set a date, you're more than welcome. All right. But you only could cheer up for Uncle Dale. <laughs> That's part of the rules. If not, don't even worry about coming. I don't That's need anybody false. else supporting her because everybody's be supporting her because they want to see me lose. That's just that's how it is. People hate on me. Okay. So, all right. Let's see, Kiki. Okay.